Love the transparent glass window it has. So it's the Ion Yuki today we'll be looking at today. Uh, it's a beautiful dongle deck from Ion, uh, which looks really beautiful, but doesn't sound beautiful. So let's find out. So before I start, I would like to want to say that uh, this is a review unit from Ion Audio, but all the thoughts and opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's start. Uh, so well, the packaging is really good as it is a bit unique. Uh, it comes with this uh, dongle deck, a beautiful cable and the USB-C to converter. Uh, I really love the accessories they provide. It's quite simple and covers everything. And uh, this is the box. I just went ahead and got it. Uh, it's really nice. It's not your typical box, which you see. Uh, it's this uh, cylindrical box. Quite unique. The price of the Yuki is $169. Uh, the looks of the Yuki is really good. The entire body has this enamel finish, uh, which makes it feel like uh, very premium and hefty in a good way. Uh, I really love the feeling of it. Uh, the entire bit build quality just screams quality. Uh, it has two separate layer, uh, one for the DAC and uh, one for the amp. The layer you see through the window is uh, coated in ceramic. Uh, yeah, that red and white thing that is entirely ceramic. Uh, the Iron Yuki is probably the most high quality dongle I have seen in terms of looks, just in looks. Sadly, the button placement for the volume is a bit weird as they are on the back as opposed to the being on the side. I mean, some did see this as a positive too, but I guess it depends on what floats your boat. It has no lights or anything to indicate. Uh, while I personally like this minimal and beautiful approach, uh, some might be a bit lost when using it daily. Having a small LED light with an option to turn it off would have been nice in my opinion. Uh, the cable uh, supplied is very supple and is really good. Love the color matching iron has does with the cable, with the dongle DAC and this uh, USB-A adapter. Very good job iron. Uh, I think so more companies should try to do that because this is white, white, white and white. Really nice. And also like this uh, gold USB-C cable they have given. Uh, it has a dual CS43198 tag and it supports up to 32 bit 768 kHz uh, and DSD256. Uh, it has 3.5 and 4.4 mm output. The power output is 90 mW via the 3.5 and 160 mW from the 4.4. Uh, also, there is no floor noise when I tried it with the most sensitive IEMs like the Panon Fan 2, the Truthia Nova. Uh, now, talking about the sound. Oof, what can I say? Let's say I'm so happy I got to test it. Uh, generally, I have to do an A-B test to find the difference between the DAC. Even the FC6 went through this test. Uh, but when I listened to the Yuki for the first time, I immediately felt something different. Uh, first thing you will notice is a super wide soundstage. Like listening to uh, with the timeless AE, the soundstage becomes even wider. Uh, the overall sound is very analog sounding. Uh, it has this. Uh, it is quite warm sounding dongle. Well, not compromising on the technicalities or the details at all. Uh, they do stay very crisp. Uh, when listening to the Cassiopeia 1985 album, uh, especially the Galactic Funk and Asayake Live, it has such a great, uh, it is such a treat. Uh, it has this great sense of uh, depth and width. Sounds really awesome with the Iron Yuki. The separation of the instruments and uh, overall technicalities is just so good. Uh, it has a maybe teeny tiny bump in the sub bass region, uh, which can be barely noticeable in some tracks uh, and also has a great emphasis on vocals. The overall treble is a bit smoothened out and this attributes uh, re appears really well with something like a plena like the 7 hertz timeless A. Uh, although that doesn't mean that all the treble detail is lost, uh, it does a great job on uh, slightly softening up that uh, treble and uh, while keeping it lively. Now, when listening to any live songs, Ion Yuki was my choice because the Yuki does perform exceptionally well with both male and uh, female vocals. Uh, barring you have a good IEM to pair it with. Uh, now listening, now I was listening to the song Kona Yuki by Remy Roman, uh, which feels like an apt song for this dongle tag, both because of the name and how beautiful the song uh, sounds with this dongle. Uh, I know I might be exaggerating, uh, but it just sounds so good and full. Uh, by any mean, uh, this isn't a neutral sounding dongle, uh, but listening to any song, uh, especially a song which makes use of a wide sound stage, uh, this sounds just simply awesome. The volume is independent, uh, it has 100 volume steps. Uh, talking about my battery test, the Avin Yuki scored very well. Uh, I paid it with the Moondrop Chu 2 
at around 30% volume by the 3.5 millimeter and I got around 14 hours and some change. Uh, my smartphone has a 5000 milliamp hour of battery. Uh, one more thing I would like to add is a glass window is a bit scary to use uh, when uh, dealing it uh, uh, and I'm quite scared of breaking it uh, when using it daily. Now I know this looks beautiful but it's still something uh, I thought of mentioning uh, because when it's inside your pocket you might be a bit scared of breaking it. Uh, it does get a bit warm when using it for a long period of time but nothing too un uncomfortable. Uh, it supports a USC 1.0 but not the USC 2.0. Now comparing with the FC6, I think so the FC6 edges slightly edges over the Yuki in terms of overall sound. The sound stage is much better on the Yuki in my opinion. Uh, also the screen helps a lot in FC6 uh, which you know to know which codec you're at and what's the volume level at. Now generally every product gets a critique from me telling something to be added or removed for the next iteration. Uh, even the FC6 uh, got one from me. Uh, but the only critique I could find for the Ion Yuki is maybe a single LED light uh, on the back side or on the over here uh, so that uh, you know uh, the user could have a general idea as to what's happening uh, and uh, yeah that would be my only suggestion now because I sure as hell wouldn't want someone to change the sound of the Ion Yuki uh, because uh, in the next iteration because it sounds just so good uh, if you do get a chance to demo it please to demo it because i think so it sounds really good uh, the, as to i mean it edges very close to the heavy fc6 in my book and that is the best dongle i have ever heard now if you are someone who wants a warm sounding beautiful looking and a simple dongle and they're okay with not too much power to power your let's say 600 ohms headphones the yuki makes a great choice uh, it's kind of crazy as to how good this sounds for its price uh, generally i do not think that uh, the price upgrade for a dongle tag is that much like when you pay double the price or triple the price but i think so iron yuki is again worth its price of 169 dollars uh, the FC6 uh, seems only uh, marginally better than the Yuki. Uh, you know, it has that warmness R2 attack. Uh, but if you get the Yuki instead of the uh, Hibi FC6, I don't think so you'll be disappointed in terms of sound. If you want that warm sound. Although recently the FC6 has also been selling for uh, $200. So it depends on as to what you want and when you get the price of FC6. By the way, I forgot to speak about the case. The case is not included in the box, but rather a separate buy. And they cost about $15. Uh, the case is of very good quality and it is very easy to get on and off from the dongle DAC. Uh, I suggest getting the case if possible as it will protect that uh, you know uh, premium enamel finish uh, which uh, the DAC has and uh, it will uh, protect it on the long run. Uh, so yeah that is my review of the Yuki. When I first saw it I really loved the way it looked but never really thought that it would sound so good too. So if you have any questions or comments you can ask me in the comment section down below. And 94% of the people watching this video aren't subscribed to my channel. I would really appreciate if you could do that. Uh, subscribing and liking helps me out a lot. And uh, yeah, so that was my review. Uh, thanks for stopping by for my review. I hope you have a great day. Bye.